Hyundai is one of those car manufacturers whose successes just seem to keep going up and up, and a large part of that is solely attributable to this car behind me, the i30 hatchback. To keep things fresh, Hyundai recently unveiled this all-new version, which it says is roomier to be in, better equipped, and now better to drive than ever before, along with being better looking as well. So is it now better than ever? Well, we're here at the car's launch in the south of Spain to find out. Step inside and you're greeted by this redesigned cabin, which features a decluttered dashboard for better ease of use, and personally I think a much fresher appearance that's a big improvement on the previous model. It's nice and comfortable, spacious too, and it also comes packed full of handy tech. As standard, there's a 5-inch touchscreen, although you can optionally upgrade to this larger 8-inch floating touchscreen, which comes with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, a big mat for charging your phone, and top top sat-nav. Five trims are available with this premium SE model sitting at the top of the range. Extra goodies for this car include heated and cooled leather seats, along with a heated leather steering wheel. Hyundai has also put a lot of focus on safety, and this car comes with things like autonomous emergency braking, adaptive cruise control, and a new driver attention assist system to list but a few. Like the previous i30, there's plenty of both leg and headroom here in the back, and Hyundai now claims that this car has the best space in its class. There's also twin isofix here in the back for your child seats, along with two cup holders in the armrest, and a handy hatch to get long items through the boot. Speaking of the boot, it's now actually slightly smaller, but only by 15 litres. With the 60-40 folding seats up, there's 395 litres of space, while with them down, it expands to 1,301 litres. That's still more than you get from the Focus, the Golf, and the Seat Leon. the interior and the practicality, but what about how it is to drive? After all, Hyundai says that it's worked hard to make the i30 more of a driver's car, even going so far as to undertake extensive Nürburgring testing to further refine it. Among the changes to this car are a new lightweight body, revised suspension for better handling, and steering that's 10% more direct. Body control is good, and it does feel that bit sharper to drive than the previous car, although the steering still isn't all that feelsome. Of course, even though it has been reworked, it's still primarily a family car and is more focused on comfort, everyday usability, and it makes for a capable cruiser. Also new for this car is the option of a 138 brake horsepower 1.4 litre turbocharged petrol engine, which comes with a 6-speed manual gearbox as standard, although we've got the optional 7-speed dual clutch auto. It's solid, reasonably punchy, and accelerates well, and can hit 0-62 mph in 8.9 seconds. Although in terms of all-roundedness, we reckon that for UK buyers, the range of 1.6 litre diesels will still probably be the better choice. Pricing for the new i30 starts from 16995 while this range top and premium SE model starts from 23495 In terms of consumption, this 1.4 litre can reportedly return up to 55 miles per gallon with 125 grams per kilometre of CO2, though it remains to be seen how well these figures stack up in real life. Of course, the i30 also comes with Hyundai's 5-year unlimited mileage warranty as well for added peace of mind. Smartly styled, comfortable and well equipped, the Hyundai i30 is now a better family car option than ever. It still remains to be seen what the economy of its new engines will be like, and it's still not the best car to drive in its class, although we will have to get it back in the UK for a full, proper test. But it's easy to see why the i30 has been so popular, and as an everyday all-rounder, it's still one of the smartest options out there. But what do you think? Let us know in the comments section below, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. To find out more about this car, click on the inquiry button, or for any other models, visit carkeys.co.uk. And to watch more videos, click on one of the links on screen now.